guys so as you can see right now i'm not in my actual room i'm in this sort of uncompleted buildings that i'm testing out you know my iron man repulsor which is right here and of course i have my other you know cardboard ganso too over here so what we're gonna need to do today is that we're gonna test out the iron man repulsor over here and the rocket launcher too down here so that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm just gonna put on the whole gun lead and we test it out and see its capabilities and you know how powerful it is. So let's dive right into it. All right, guys. So this is an Iron Man carpet. You know, I built this Iron Man gun lead a couple of days ago. It doesn't look that much, but if I put it on, I mean, you see how powerful it is. You know, it's a bit of engineering marble right over here. It doesn't look down my back. Can I shut it down to do some pretty much damage. So what you gonna if you want to put it on what you're gonna need to do is that you're gonna open this part, this screw down here. You open it then you unbuck all this thing. Yeah. When you unbuck all it then you open it like this. So what you're gonna need to do is that you're gonna put your arm inside it like this. Yeah. So that's why you put your arm inside it. Then what you're gonna need to do is that you're gonna place it after putting your arm inside it. And after you put it back in place like this. And after you put the screw back on, <coughs> then you're good to go. So this is my arm on down there where you pulse out. Because of the sunlight over here, the repulsor light doesn't actually show that much bright, but it's really powerful, powerful at night. Yeah, so here's my repulsor. Okay, here's my repulsor. Here's my rocket launcher. As you can see, it moves up and down. Alright, so let's start by testing out the the, the repulsor, which is the flame thrower. So let's just start and see. Alright, so like I showed you, you're gonna need your source of fuel, which I'm using this exercise to have my source of fuel. Alright, so let's test it out without the ignition first and see how it does before we attach the actual source of ignition to it. So I'm testing out okay, so test one, testing out the iron man repulsor with no source of ignition, but uh, with source of fuel. So here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah, so that's one without you know source of Ignition, but we don't need a full. I'm gonna use this light as the source of ignition too. Let's see. Okay. That was really cool, right? But don't try this at home, it's really really risky. But I'm a trained professional, and even me as a trained professional, I can get it. So don't try it. This is just for entertainment purposes. Nothing more, nothing less. Just then, you know, the engineering behind it. I'm trying to do something, but I'm telling you again, be really, really careful. If you're going to do any type of fire related stuff, make sure you do it in a safe environment. It is a, um, it's a safe environment. 
there isn't much things to catch on fire. That's what I'm doing right here. So that's my armor is also. I am my armor. Alright, so that was test two. Let's go with test three and see. This thing is really, really powerful. As you can see, the fire. <laughs> I mean, it looks even much, you know, awesome in like real life. I mean, you are watching it on a video, so you can actually see the magnitude and the amount of feet that I'm receiving. I mean, I wish you can be standing here right with me. You might, you will feel the actual power of this down there. So, are you guys ready? So, three, two, one, go. Oh man, I didn't have control over that, so let's go over it again. Three, two, one, go. Awesome. That was freaking awesome. Wow, let's go. Man, if you want to see more cool stuff like this, make sure you subscribe and like this video. Yeah, so guys, I guess that's pretty much it. I mean, my food is, you know, finished. It's almost empty, so yes, that's pretty much it. And I love if you guys like what you see. I mean, make sure you like and subscribe so that you get notified any time I post any new kind of content or video. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.